Hi guys! <laughs> Today we are going to check out a very interesting Airbnb here in Pino in the canton of Graubünden, Switzerland. It's about two hour drive from Zurich and very close to Lax and Lips. by the design of the house so decided to come and stay for two nights. The owner is a landscape architect. He's built this place for his own family in this village called Pino. As you can see, the surroundings just so calm and quiet, full of lush greenery in the middle of June. Okay, let's go and have a look inside. When we come in from the door, you see the living area straight away on the left and a powder room on the right. The entire house has an open plan layout and has very few walls to separate different zones. The high ceiling living room has a fireplace hanging from the ceiling. I can imagine how cozy it is in the winter time. Here, a French door leading to the terrace overlooking the valley. Even though the living room has only one small sofa, it's actually got plenty of seating to accommodate at least six to eight guests comfortably. Two steps up, we've got the dining area with the rustic dining table. It's made of this raw and beautiful reclaimed wood. The corner window frames the scenery from another angle. Right in front of the window, we found an intriguing glass opening on the floor. If anyone knows the purpose of these, do leave a comment and let us know. Another two steps up, we reach the kitchen of the house. It's a simple functional design and has everything we need to make a light meal. I personally like the green marble worktop that runs from the kitchen down to the floor below. It feels generous and solid. Once walking past the kitchen, we can take the stairs up to the top floor, where the second lounge area is located. Thanks to the super high ceiling and the use of glass walls on both sides, the guests get to enjoy the stunning landscape here without needing to step outside of the building. Another great reason to come back here in the winter days. The great thing about this B&B is that you don't find a TV in this house. It really encourages people to just come, relax, and switch off. Focus on nature and be with your companies. Now, heading downstairs to the bedroom area. It's a little tricky to do, but full of fun. Because the owner designed a slanted path instead of a traditional stairs. So if you are wearing socks like me, you don't walk, but slide. A little too much fun that our daughter tried about 100 times. Great feature for families with kids, they will never get bored. The main bathroom is between two bedrooms and in the center of the building. It has no walls but curtains to separate from the hallway. It's perfect because it means that you get to enjoy the view while you take a bath. The twin bedroom is generous in size and minimal in the decoration, which again directs people's attention to the nature outside. 
as mentioned earlier, there are very few walls. So the wall that we see here is in fact a combination of three sliding doors. It separates the twin room from the master bedroom next door. This means during the daytime, all the sliding doors can be kept open and it feels like one single fluid space. The master bedroom has a bespoke bed frame in an asymmetric shape. There is also a funky hidden wardrobe behind. Again, two full high windows here looking out to the nature in this room too. We feel so peaceful to wake up in the morning to this view. Just 10 minutes drive or half an hour hike from the Airbnb, you'll reach Lac d'Apino, which is the lake you see here. It's an easy 4 km hiking loop along this artificial lake. The Rocky Mountains in the back was pretty stunning. Towards one end of the lake, there are also some beautiful waterfalls. Nearby underneath, visitors get to sit down to picnic or use their fire pits for barbecue. our stay here and would totally recommend this place to everyone. If you're looking for some interesting places to stay in Switzerland or Italy, please do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment or like this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon.